Welcome to First Time Watching Channel. Today I am going to explain comedy, drama, romance movie Rai Lane, released in 2023. At the beginning of the movie, Dom cries and hides in a unisex restroom while lamenting his breakup from three months earlier. Unintentionally, Yas hears him sobbing. Before departing, she checks the color of Dom's shoes while he is sobbing and asks if he is okay. Pink shoes by Dom are a more stylish choice than a pink bag by Yas. Dom visited his cousin Nathan's photography exhibit, where he had photographs of other people's teeth on display. When Dom learns that Nathan has attended brunch at his ex's house, where everyone is expected to paint a portion of their home, he becomes briefly enraged. Nathan dismisses Dom's complaint that his ex is repainting the area that he had painted. Dom is irate. Yet it's at the show that he runs across Yas, who immediately recognizes him by his shoes but says nothing. But soon enough, Nath pressures Dom into purchasing one of the paintings in an effort to get other customers to follow suit. Dom makes the purchase with the promise that he will sell it for more money if his cousin becomes well-known. Yas and Dom leave together because they are both heading in the same direction on Rye Lane Market, and for two people who have just met, things are going extremely well. Dom shares with her the story of how his six-year girlfriend left him after he accidentally screenshotted her having an extramarital affair with his closest friend. Rather than addressing her right away, he chose to spend the following several hours sobbing at a theater. He returned to living with his parents, who may have been too protective of him. Yas discusses her desire to make costumes and how she is currently making ends meet in her opening statement. In order for everyone to move on with their lives, Dom will meet with Gia and Eric to speak with them. He declines Yas' offer to accompany him. Even Gia appears to be irritated by an overly enthusiastic Eric, who is obviously not pleased with their meeting. Dom merely inquires about their motivation for acting in a certain way. Gia responds that they had become estranged as a result of her changing. Dom wishes he could tell you that she should have ended the relationship instead of cheating. Yas steps in to save him at that point. She pretends to be his fiancé, much to Gia's dismay, who undoubtedly did not anticipate her ex moving on so quickly, and his surprise. Yas doesn't really waste any time in criticizing Gia for choosing to date Eric rather than D.O.M. She claims that Gia simply became frightened by what Dom was providing and decided to proceed with the simplest and closest choice available. After finishing her sentence, Yas exits, and Dom follows. Yas's own remarks have undoubtedly shaken her, as they should. Because of what she did, which involved directly interfering with another person's life and circumstances, she may have felt the need to make amends by standing up for Dom and trying to protect him. Dom expresses his desire to treat her and expresses his happiness in either case. Hello, Colin Firth. They both head to a burrito joint. Dom's burrito order beats Yas by a wide margin. Yas explains that she broke up with her lover because he wasn't as joyous a person as she would have liked as they continued to stroll and share more of their lives with one another. In order to continue hanging out with Dom, Yas declines an interview for a position in costume design when they are at a pub. She reveals to him that she left a record in Jules' house, where she previously lived with her ex together, they devise a strategy to retrieve the record because Yas does not desire a new record but rather her old one. They visit Jules' mother's house to get a key to his apartment, but while they are there, Dom is seen looking through one of the mother's drawers. He informs her that she is the girl who spoke to him in the restroom during a conversation that Dom has with Yas. She acknowledges having walked out of an interview to spend more time with him. They exchange phone numbers after deciding to meet again after realizing where they stand. But, Jules' mother offers Yas her moped and inquires as to whether she would want it. Yas picks up Dom, and they continue their search for Jules' house keys. Mona, the owner of a karaoke bar, is their next stop since she could have the keys. As they arrive, he coerces the two into singing in the karaoke room, and although they initially don't seem to be doing well, things really pick up when Yas joins Dom on stage. They successfully enter Juke's flat after obtaining the keys from Mona. Yet now is the right time for conflict in the utopia they've built. 
Yas is enraged when she discovers a menstruation cup in the restroom because Jules has never permitted her to use one. She also discovers some of Tabby's underpants, which irritates her to no end. Jules and Tabby, however, return before they get a chance to return to their goal. Yas and Dom finally come to light despite their hiding. About Jules and Yas' breakup, some real truth starts to surface at that point. Yas and her objectives were consistently undercut by Jules, and Tabby was also a victim of his tactics. Nonetheless, Jules had ended things with her, not the other way around, despite what Yas had told Dom. Dom questions Yas about why she did not be more forthcoming with him after hearing the whole truth from Jules from the start as they are leaving her home. Yas tells him that Dom needs to learn to keep his emotions to himself because she didn't want to bearing all to a stranger. They split ways, and the following few days are spent crying over one another. No matter how they may feel about one other's sincerity or their own fears, the time they have spent together has had an effect. They try to date new individuals, but this time, their thoughts are not on their ex-partners, but rather on their day spent together. Finally, Nathan has his next exhibition, and this time he has displayed some more unpleasant images of a typically private area of the human body. When Gia and Eric are introduced to Dom, they appear to be content with their union. In fact, claiming that Yas appears ideal for him, Gia inquires of Dom about her. Yas asks Dom to turn around in a call that arrives at that same moment. When he finally does, he notices a boat full of people waving at him. Yas requests that he come down and meet her, stating that she was aware that he was a boat waver. Dom concurs, and she reveals that she wasn't completely truthful since she wanted him to continue believing that she was cool for breaking up with Jules rather than the reverse. In any case, Dom reassures her that she is cool. Yas neglected to look at the direction the boat was traveling, so poor Dom has to make a slight detour. Yet, they do ultimately cross paths at the harbor, and there is no denying their feelings. Finally, they establish their own romance when they kiss. The movie serves as a constant reminder that love is possible, but only if we can make peace with our past and give life and love another chance. Thank you for watching.